Oh, you want a video on Gojo? I think you meant reverse Kakashi, my eternal rival. Now, in all honesty, Gojo is overpowered. Known as the strongest Jujutsu master, I mean Jujutsu sorcerer of his time, the man is nothing to scoff at. For one, the amount of curse energy that Gojo possesses could make any curse absolutely wet their pants and take a shit right then and there. He's like an ice cream truck traveling down the streets of a desert nation. While he may have massive physical strength and can move faster than you can see, that's not where his true power lies. His true openness comes from his ability Limitless. Limitless allows him to manipulate space. Yes, you didn't hear that wrong, this son of a gun can use the Kamui. Well, not really, but it's funny since Kakashi could also manipulate space using Obito's Sharingan. Limitless is basically an ability that uses infinity to its advantage. Infinity is obviously infinity. The ability makes it so that no attack can hit the user, Gojo, unless they're in a domain expansion. It works the same way math works, actually. The numbers 1 and 2 can never meet each other because there is an infinite number of smaller numbers between them. There is an infinite space between Gojo and the attack. Damn, I feel like I have a mathematics PhD now. Going on, there are also different techniques that he can employ using Limitless. Cursed technique Laps Blue causes an error in the world by creating an impossible scenario, like negative one apples. The world attempting to fix this error causes an attraction to be made, causing everything to get attracted to the point of that error. Cursed technique Reversal Red is the exact opposite of Blue. It basically gives him the power to repel. He's a Kakashi that can use the almighty push. Hollow Purple is a combination of blue and red. It's absolutely overpowered. It's an attack that effectively erases anything from its path. Poof, it's gone. GG, you're dead. He's dead. It's dead. Whatever. Finally, we have Gojo's domain expansion. His domain, Unlimited Void, basically creates a void where the enemy experiences limitless knowledge, feels limitless things, and sees limitless things without anything actually happening to him physically. A normal human would need 2 months of rehabilitation after 0.2 seconds in Gojo's domain. That's just how much of a mind break it is. Only Gojo and the people he is touching are immune to it. Well everybody, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed my explanation of Reverse Kakashi and if you did, drop a like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, see ya!